Hi, welcome to another Derek Does. Today, we're gonna do these. So today we're gonna talk about the Vita Pro trousers from a company called Fjall Raven. Now Fjall Raven is a company, it's a Swedish company, and it actually means uh, Arctic Fox, and that is their logo somewhere around here. That's their logo, uh, and it's the Arctic Fox. It was a company that was started in about 1960 in Sweden from a guy who was an outdoor guy, and uh, he wanted to start making backpacks, and then it turned into tents, and it turned into other stuff, and eventually it turned into the company it is today. Uh, I didn't know about Fial Raven until I moved to Colorado. And when I moved to Colorado, I'd always been uh, always salvage denim, you know, boots. I was always that guy. And uh, I was out here and I was looking around and everyone was kind of dressed different. Uh, very few people were in actual salvage jeans. I didn't see any really. And because of where we live, you kind of need an outdoor pair of pants that can handle hiking, uh, going in the snow, going into anywhere like that. You just need a a very versatile pair of pants that can handle that. And that's where I started looking. And so I was looking around and I had a couple Patagonia things, which everyone knows Patagonia, uh, but I wanted something different. I didn't want to be just the status quo, you know, that sort of thing, nothing with North Face or Patagonia or Columbia or any of those companies. And so I looked around and actually I got on some of European sites because uh, European guys, they just have it together better when it comes to dressing like that uh, because they're used to it and uh, probably because they grew up with stuff like that. And I discovered Fial Raven. And uh, I started looking around and actually here uh, in Boulder, there's actually a Fial Raven store. So I went there and I tried them on and I kind of really liked them. And one of the first pairs of pants I bought, one of the first things I bought actually was uh, a pair of Fial Raven Vita Pro trousers. Uh, they call them trousers or pants. Um, uh, a couple of things I'm gonna show you, kind of what they are, uh, why I like them so much, uh, why I've been kind of exclusively wearing them, at least while I've been here in Colorado. Although I have picked up some more salvage denim uh, just because I can't wear these every day. Although I could, but um, I just didn't want to wear them every day, so uh, I kind of missed denim a little bit. Uh, but uh, I'm going to show you these Vita Pro uh, trousers and show you kind of what's about them. The I mean, the amount of thought that goes into these is kind of amazing when you look at it and you think about it. Uh, but let's take a look at this. So here's the pair. This is one of my pairs. Uh, they come in all different colors. Uh, usually they're kind of earth tony. Uh, I have gray, kind of like a brown, this tan color, and then I got a green pair for Christmas and a little smaller size. Um, I lost a little bit of weight, so I've actually re had to repurpose my pants. Uh, and so I sold uh, my older ones on eBay. They still have a great value. And uh, I bought the next size down. Uh, and then the green pair is one size even down from that. Uh, on first thing, they're just a normal, kind of an outdoory trouser. But if you notice, they have um, these knee pads. Now the knee pads are actually, it's a double fabric uh, lined up and it's with their fabric, what they call the G1000. And it's a patented fabric they came up with. And it's kind of a cross of cotton and polyester blend. And uh, it is impregnated with wax, uh, kind of like uh, an oil cloth in a way, but not as sticky. It's kind of a light wax color. So not only does uh, bending down uh, on your knees give you uh, a little extra protection with that double fabric, but it also has um, waterproofness on there. Uh, this is the logo for, that's the Arctic Fox curled up. Uh, so on the Vita Pro, which I like a lot, you have two front pockets slash pockets, which are really nice. Uh, belt loops. Uh, it's got just a uh, button closure and a zipper. Um, 
So I had to learn to use a zipper again when everything's been button fly for me for so many years. Um, on the Vita Pro, you have two or three pockets in the front besides the slash pockets. You have a uh, pocket here and all the pockets have snaps. This one actually is a very long pocket. It runs the entire length here. So you can put long items in there if you're hiking, put bottles of water, maps, anything like that. Then you have a side pocket and these all have little bellows on them so they can actually expand. Uh, so it's not just a flat pocket. If, if you get extra stuff in there, it'll actually give you a little more room. Uh, so you have a pocket here, and then you have a very similar pocket on this side with the same bellows and everything like that. You can even see here on the side how much it can actually open up because it has this extra bellows on the side. Very, very handy. Then you also have here uh, a snap here and a snap down here and this opens up all the way so it's ideally made actually for you to put your um, hiking or camping uh, hatchet through here it actually will make a little uh, hole basically that your your handle can go through to hold that sort of thing you can also put other stuff in there of course but remember that this is kind of open it's snapped but it's open and of course, because it's Swedish, they have the Swedish flag. Unfortunately, these are not made in Sweden. They're made in China, pretty much like everything else. Uh, but they're very, very well made. And on the back side, show you that. That's the back side. The thing I really like about these is there's no back pockets. So you don't ever have to worry about your wallet, you know, making you go lopsided halfway and then your back hurts because your, your wallet, you'll never have that issue here because you, there is no back pocket. But if you also notice, this back material is that G1000, just like, just like the knee. Uh, so it keeps you waterproof, it's extra, it's doubled up, it's just better stuff. Um, and it's, it's made for being outdoors and uh, getting some activity and wear and tear. Now, some of the special features, uh, besides uh, the fabric, which is a special feature, I would assume, uh, you have, let me get these back up. So you've got the pockets, uh, you have you know, the belt loops you can have, you have the thing down here for your hatchet. Uh, but one thing they have, which is really cool, is there's a, a little hole here between the two fabrics. And that's actually made for a, a they'd sell a knee pad that's made out of like a rubbery styrofoamy stuff that you can put in there so like if you're climbing if you're up in the in, doing some hiking where there's going to be a lot of rocks or if you're camping where there's like lots of bedrock or something like that you're you're not going to wear your knees out because you could put you can shove up this uh, pad and basically it just lives in there and you constantly have knee pads. So you're, you're not, if you go down, you're not gonna hurt your knees, which is really fantastic. I thought that was a great idea. I don't, I never bought them because I haven't needed them yet, but uh, the, you can buy them at the Fjall Raven store or you can order them anywhere they have those. Um, and just one knee pad, I think, fits any pant. Uh, now on the bottom of it, you have uh, a snap and a snap here. So you can actually tighten these up. You unsnap this and this is kind of a, elastic -y material uh, that runs the length of that area and so you can actually tighten up your pants uh, around your boot or something like that it also has right here see that has a little hook so you can actually hook that to the base of uh, your laces of your boot so that your pants don't never ride up and then you can tighten it up. So if you're gonna be going into a snowy area or a place where there's a lot of brush and you don't want little seeds and things like that getting up into your pants, this is a great little feature. Now what happens when you wash these? Because obviously, uh, unlike denim, uh, you will have to wash these eventually. I don't wash them very often um, just because that's how I just, I don't wash my pants that often. Uh, but when they do need wash, I do wash them. What happens is when you wash them, the washing machine will remove the wax that's inside your G1000 fabric. But they also sell uh, the Fial Waven wax, which is uh, 
for your fabric. Uh, I believe this is probably going to be the same as any wax you could buy. Uh, it looks just like a bar of soap. Uh, and then you would just heat up this area with like a blow dryer. Uh, and then you rub your wax over it and then it will soak into it. And then you can get re, uh, re waterproofed. They use the same fabric in a lot of their jackets, which is really nice. So you can actually have a completely waterproof jacket, a lot like a, a Belfast or a, a barber type thing. Uh, if you're, if you're going to be into an area where there's a lots and lots of um, rain and moisture and that sort of thing, it's just nice to be waterproof. Uh, but this is the Vita Pro. This is my green pair. Uh, this pair is brand new. I've never worn them yet. Uh, this is how they would look when you buy them new. Um, there's the Vita Pro. You can see this is a size uh, 46, which is like a 30, 31 in uh, a US size. Now keep in mind, I'm more like a 32, but these fit fine. Uh, they're a little oversized, uh, so don't get exactly your size. You might want to go up a little bit or, um, or actually go down a little bit, don't you? Because that's a 46. Uh, so this is, uh, and also uh, another thing too, uh, they come with a different fits. Uh, so this is regular and a waist of a mid, but that you can get long and you can get short in these. They probably won't have them at the store, but you can order them. So let's say uh, like a nice trouser, you can actually get it in a, a long if you're a really tall guy or a short leg if you're not a really tall guy. But this is just the average everything. So it comes with your tag, uh, gives you all the information about the, the Vita Pro, kind of the, the history of it. And, uh, and then there you get your Vita Pro, uh, tells you the sizes. And then a bit about the G1000 material, uh, and probably tells you about how to re-wax them and that sort of thing, I would assume. Yeah, it was just talking about how they came up with it and that sort of thing. Um, but again, this has the exact same thing. It's got the holes here for your pads. This one is already uh, impregnated with the wax. As you can see, it's not waxy, it's there, but it's not uh, thick, uh, probably like a jacket and that sort of thing. And then, um, and then it's just a plain old back, just you can see. But it's I'll show you the green. Uh, so there's your, your size. But you can see what they do is they have the same back, and it, usually it's in a different color. Now, if you buy a black pair, it's going to be all black. You're never going to see. If you don't like the two tone, it's not a big problem because you're not going to see it. Uh, and they, they sell these, and I think they even make, uh, like, if you look on the European sites, sometimes they have different colors. Uh, there's even, like, a camel one, I think, if you wanted that, if you're a hunter. Um, they have that sort of thing. But um, overall, I highly recommend these pants. I did buy a, a pair of the Fjall Raven Vita Pro Vented pants. I thought I would like those for the summer because they have a, a vent here on the side that you can actually open up to let air in. I did not like those at all, uh, mainly because this whole area was this stretchy material. Uh, I guess they were trying to make it lighter and it just felt like I wasn't wearing pants and I didn't, I didn't like it at all. Uh, so I actually sold those and I'm just gonna stick with the Vita Pro. I would recommend the Vita Pro. Uh, they're actually one of my favorite pants and my favorite uh, modern, uh, manufacturer is uh, Fial Raven. So you can get these pretty much anywhere uh, that they sell higher end, I guess, outdoor clothing. Uh, you can get them at, uh, you can get them directly from Fial Raven. You can get them uh, from Backcountry, uh, which I bought a, quite a few pairs from them. Also, Moose Jaw is another great one to go to. Um, those companies uh, a lot of times will have like 20% off sales. The pants themselves aren't cheap. I think they're around 160, um, but with the 20% off, and sometimes you can even get more than that. You can sometimes even pick them up if it for less than that. You can get them for I've gotten them as cheap as like in the 90s. Uh, it was just because it was a color and a size was available. Nordstrom sells them too. I think I bought a pair from them once uh, because they had like 
the gray pair and my size, but that was it. And then it's free shipping and you could get it like that. So don't pay full price if you don't have to. Uh, I mean, if you can get them, uh, but you can easily get them cheaper uh, if you have to shop around. Uh, Fjall Raven even always has like a couple times a year, they'll have like a 20% off anything in the store, I think, uh, which is really nice, except for backpacks. That's their main seller, I guess, because that's what they started doing is making backpacks. You don't need a lot of pairs of these. I have three pair. Uh, and honestly, I could get away with two pair, uh, just as you rotate them. Um, you don't need, unless, unless you really like having a new pair of pants every single day, um, on the color wise, uh, they have, they're mostly greens and browns and blacks, but they do have some crazy, uh, I guess you could say European colors of like, uh, this kind of this reddish autumn-y color and then, but it's almost orangey. Uh, and there are some others, and those are usually were on sale because I don't think they sell very well in the States. These are, honestly, these are my favorite pants in the last couple years that I've had. Uh, that's why I have a, quite a few of them and I bought them over. When I outgrew or undergrew them, I had to get uh, the next size smaller, uh, but uh, I like them that much. And I think you'll like them if you get a pair. You'll, they're different, totally different. Uh, but once you start wearing them, you'll realize, wow, these are kind of nice. Um, so they're kind of nice. Uh, anyway, if you like this sort of content, please subscribe, comment. If you have a, if you like Fial Raven or if you have never even discovered it, I highly recommend uh, checking them out because it may have something uh, that you would like. Uh, I've got a, a jacket I'm going to show you coming up that uh, is really cool that I did a lot of thinking of before I bought it and I watch reviews on it and that sort of thing. But uh, today we're just talking about the Vita Pro. This is the Vita Pro. I don't get anything uh, if you buy this stuff. Uh, I'm just recommending it because this is kind of cool stuff uh, from a company that's been around for a long time uh, that maybe you've never heard of. And I'll see you on the next episode.